Chapter 5. The Cook-Up In the kitchen, George put the saucepan on the stove and turned up the gas flame underneath it, as high as it would go. George! came the awful voice from the next room. It's time for my medicine! Not yet, Grandma! George called back. There's still twenty minutes before eleven o'clock. What mischief are you up to in there now? Granny screeched. I hear noises! George thought it best not to answer this one. He found a long wooden spoon in a kitchen drawer and began stirring hard. The stuff in the pot got hotter and hotter. Soon the marvellous mixture began to froth and foam. A rich blue smoke, the colour of peacocks, rose from the surface of the liquid, and a fiery, fearsome smell filled the kitchen. It made George choke and splutter. It was a smell unlike any he had smelled before. It was a brutal and bewitching smell, spicy and staggering, fierce and frenzied, full of wizardry and magic. Whenever he got a whiff of it up his nose, firecrackers went off in his skull, and electric prickles ran along the backs of his legs. It was wonderful to stand there, stirring this amazing mixture, and to watch it smoking blue and bubbling and frothing and foaming, as though it were alive. At one point, he could have sworn he saw bright sparks flashing in the swirling foam. And suddenly, George found himself dancing around the steaming pot, chanting strange words that came into his head out of nowhere. Fiery broth and witch's brew, foamy froth and rich as blue. Fume and spume and spoondrift spray, fizzle, swizzle, shout hooray! Watch it sloshing, swashing, sploshing, hear it hissing, squishing, spissing. Grandma better start to pray.